Hey, it's Patrick, and let's talk about Cobra's detachable luggage racks. Now, if you're not familiar with Cobra, they have been around for a very long time in the aftermarket motorcycle space. Since 1977, they have been making parts for motorcycles right there in California. I visited their facility. It is very, very nice. One of the coolest motorcycle part manufacturing facilities I have seen, and they do a ton of stuff besides luggage racks. They do exhaust and sissy bars and all kinds of stuff. When it comes to their rack system, I think it's one of the best for a number of reasons. Now, they have three versions of these racks kind of available, which we'll get to. They're all detachable. But let's talk about fitment and pricing. As far as fitment, there is a ton of motorcycles. So way too many for me to list, but it's more than just Harleys and Indians. They have a lot of fitment. So make sure you use the bike finder on the website to get the one that's right for you. But when it comes to fitment, there is a bit of a caveat and that will also drive some of this pricing. They offer this with or without the mounting hardware. And the reason for that is, if you already have one of their detachable backrests, then you don't need the hardware and they're not gonna sell you something you don't need. So you just buy the rack without the hardware, you can clip it right onto your bike where that sissy bar went. If you do need it, it's a little bit more money. I would say these are gonna range from 250 to just under $400, depending on bike fitment and depending on if you have that hardware or not. Now they are available in chrome and the black we have here. And like I said, there's three versions. This is pretty much the standard version right here. And then they have their big ass version. This is the big ass wraparound version right here. You can see there's a large cutout in the center. What this does is uses the pillion part of the seat. So it moves this rack closer and you can put a bag on there. And what's nice about that is if you're going on a long trip, you don't have a passenger, you have a luggage rack. The luggage rack is generally behind the seat. You put your luggage there. There's a gap between you and the bag, so you can't like lean on it and get comfortable. This moves that forward on the bike, which is also good for the bike. So having stuff leveraged way out isn't the best. So if you can move that weight closer to the rider, you're better. So you can move this closer to you and possibly even lean up against it and have a nice comfortable thing to lean against. The other part of this is if you have just a standard big ass rack. This is just a regular rack. It moves it back behind that pillion section of your seat. And it's just like a normal luggage rack, only much, much bigger. So instead of having this narrow spot here, if you plan on doing a bunch of touring, this extra width is nice. The other nice thing is these little flips right here in the luggage rack. I like that rather than just a standard straight rack, because even though you're strapping stuff down, it's nice to have that little bit of a bump on there to keep things from sliding back. And it looks kind of cool too. A little bit of a spoiler action there. You wanna know how hard it is to install one of these? It's not very hard. And we have an install video available. We put this on a Milwaukee 8 Softail. Pretty straightforward, definitely just a few hand tools. In fact, it's just four bolts. They go right through the fender strut. They put little pieces of docking hardware on there and these things snap right down. So speaking of the docking hardware, they have a really trick system here. It's just this little bitty pin and it's a pretty tight static fit. So you push this down on here and you snap it down, it locks in. It won't come off unless you pull out these little pins and then it pops off. When you put it on, it's gonna be tight and that's a good thing because you don't want this thing rattling around on your bike while you're going down the road. So it does require a little bit of elbow grease just to push it down on there. After that, this thing is rock solid. If you're looking for more information, go ahead and click that info tab on your desktop or mobile device. That'll take you to our product detail page where you can read other riders reviews and more information about these racks. If you're still looking for more information, feel free to reach out to our customer service team. They would love to talk to you about what works best for you, your budget, and your motorcycle. I am Patrick. Thank you for watching. And go work on those motorcycles.